I guess we're gonna do the Hogwarts video. Yes. Yes, the homie Skizzle Aches is doing a video on it, and I want to hear what he's got to say. Welcome, welcome to another episode of KIWTB, and I'm your host, Kicking It with Timmy B himself. Today, we're doing a Hogwarts Legacy reaction video because it seems to be all over the news in the gaming world. If you guys are new to the channel, this is what we do reactions, a bunch of music videos, small short films, and a lot of live stream videos. If you guys want to come tapping with your boy, hit me up on Twitch, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok at Kicking It With Timmy B, and hit me up on Facebook and Twitter at K I W T B Gaming. Shout out to the homie Skizzle Wakes. Go support your boys out there in Canada. Let's get right into it, boy. Yes, Ronnie Epic Garden Party, but ladies and gentlemen, nowadays you get canceled for farting in the wrong direction. Whoa! Oh, you know, that's facts, right? Drop a thumbs up if you're gonna be getting Harry Potter. Dislike if not, because right now there are a million plus people looking to boycott and cancel this game. We're gonna mm. check out what went wrong, wrong, and let's check it out. Probably the mm. best way to start off the new year. Is yes. About probably the most highly. Yes, I was gonna watch this video. Anticipated game of the year, and that is Hogwarts Legacy. This is the le yeah. Th this is Legacy Killers HD. Here, shout out to the homie Legacy Killer. We're gonna. I mean, if he's already watching it, there's no point for me to watch it on. I don't know. It's also one of the most controversial games of the year. It seems like lots he of people do though. not even want to talk about this because of how controversial it has become. If yeah. Been following yep. this game at all on social media? There has been large campaigns to get it to be boycotted, and even at the Game Awards last month. Dude, shout out to JK Rowling. I've been following yep. this game at all on social media. There has been large. Yes, shout out to JK Rowling. She is such an amazing person for creating the Harry Potter world that I grew up on reading the books and playing the video games. Campaigns to get it to be boycotted. And even at the Game Awards last month, there was an interesting Damn. reaction. And watching the movies. Into the most anticipated award. Uh, you saw enormous applause for Starfield, Final what? Fantasy 16, uh, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. And then when it got to Hawk. Shout out to Jeff Keighley, man. Jeff Keighley in this satin, silk looking uh, blazer he's got. Hogwarts Legacy. Some people tried to make it out to be that they were booed, but it was more so it went pretty quiet. And I really do get the sense that a lot of people just don't know how to react to this game. And I think that's more of those who live- Bro, like 10 years ago, bro, like the, the type of shiza that's happening right now, I cannot even say the word shiza in English. Like mm, it's bro. the- the shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I cannot say that word on YouTube. Mm. I really, I, I can, but if I say it, How? recently one of my videos was taken down. So, yeah. I mean, I cannot say certain things. Yeah. I really cannot. It was not this bad 10 years ago. Well, it's online crazy. and those who run various gaming websites. And then you have the more average casual gamer. It's all because of some tweet, supposedly, that J.K. Rowling said. Whatever, dude. I guess you could say those who actually like Harry Potter and aren't really following along or care about necessarily the politics of J.K. Rowling, those are extremely excited for this game. And you've seen that yeah. with the Steam top charts of this. Uh, Hogwarts Legacy is like Thanks. one of the most pre-ordered games, and it is by far, in my opinion, going to just absolutely knock it out in terms of sales when that day comes. Yes. Next month, the 23rd. Be there, be square! Comes in about just around a month. Now, what will it garner in reviews? That is a one, one if you already pre ordered, two if you have not, three if you're gonna buy the game but you're not looking to pre order. Here's the thing, man. You sh I'm gonna pre order the game. We're, we are going to buy it. I'll probably do it really soon. Really soon. Probably by the end of this month. And today is January 12th, 2023. You should not be buying the game just to piss people off because that's yeah. also kind of stupid. That yes. is actually stupid. stupid. Because if let's be real, if you very stupid, if you don't like the game, mm. you should not buy the game. Right? Yes, you should wait a little bit if you're actually suspect about the game. Uh, because nowadays games are coming out incomplete. Yes, full of microtransactions filled with bugs, and yes. uh, you should not be buying a game just to prove people uh, wrong. wrong. Yes, I totally understand. I totally understand if you're gonna do that, and that's perfectly fine if you're gonna do it. I'm just saying, like. You never know. This game might be a doozy. It doesn't look like it's gonna be a doozy. It's I don't think it's gonna be a doozy, but you may. You never know. Looks like that. It's actually gonna be a banger. In fact, I'm high for it. As mm. a YouTuber, full disclosure, I have already pre-ordered the game. Ooh. Normally, I don't pre-order the game, but I have pre-ordered the game just because we're getting like three days early access. I got a stream. Yes. I, I got kids to feed. I, yes. I don't have any kids, but Bro. you understand. I have yes. To you get 72 hours of early access. We will be streaming live, baby. Feed my future kids in the future, okay? Mm. But 
Talk if to you them. are just buying this game to prove people wrong, hey, perfectly fine. But in my opinion, we should actually wait. And the reviews for this game, I don't think people are going to believe those. Something reviews. that we're going to be having discussions about probably in the mm. coming weeks, because I do think that just because of this being JK Rowling, her views, I do anticipate that certain outlets will factor that into the review score. But mm, regardless yeah. of that, we're not there yet. Even right now, we're learning more about Hogwarts Legacy. The most recent reveal was gameplay showcase and in which it had the Avalanche Studios developers and their community team just traversing yeah. the massive and vast open world. It really yeah. is impressive what they have built here. Obviously, that doesn't necessarily translate to the quality of the map and how enjoyable it'll be, Dang but it looks like it could be a ton of fun traversing the different types of beasts and obviously our customizable broomstick. Those are really impressive. By the way, this is Hagrid's spot right here. How enjoyable it'll be, but Dang it looks like it could be a ton of fun traversing on different types of beasts and obviously our the groundskeeper spot and then um Buckbeak supposed to be like over here or over here or something next to the pumpkins. And this is where Harry, Ron, and Hermione pulled up with in time and uh, it's a whole thing. It's a whole vibe. You gotta watch the movie. Gotta watch the movies. Our customizable broomstick. Those are really impressive uh, features. Obviously, yeah. Man, this blew me away. This yeah. scene blew me away. Like, I'm, I'm really hyped for this game, fellas. I really hype, son. Hope that this game doesn't turn out to be Hogwarts Legacy 2077. Man. <laughs> <laughs> reveals of this game, even in yeah. the new trailer, yeah. Like inside of the main castle and the interiors, it does look like it's there's a lot of great attention to detail and there's a lot of cool places that we'll be able to explore there. But that exploration on the foot, we really didn't know how massive this world is, and this is just a great example again of why so many people are extremely excited about Hogwarts Legacy. Yes. Furthermore, yeah. we also got our first look at the Dark Arts Battle Arena. This is something that's included in the deluxe edition of the game. Yes, we've seen that watching uh, their premiere video that i did a reaction on on my youtube channel at youtube.com forward slash kicking with timmy b come check me out there you could check that video out i did do a reaction to it but they did show this content of this dark arena and i cannot wait cannot wait it's gonna be really sick game where it can be in-game purchase you know my feelings on stuff like this i truly don't like it but what was shown here is i have to admit it does look impressive and yes. it intrigues me you have characters that can use the unforgivable curses to fight through waves of enemies in this Yo. area and the gameplay showcase uh, showed a battle sequence in which our wizard was blasting an enemy with a killing curse and their health bar immediately drains to zero this is fun stuff obviously some allies really really didn't like this the fact that you can kill i guess technically but what okay oh you're not supposed to kill people in harry potter oh my god we're so soft now they're you only kill people in like shooting games why is it in my harry potter game bro it's like dude it's in the sh it's in the movie it's in the books the unforgivable curse you use that and you can kill people with it it's a curse that kills people and it's in the lore of harry potter and obviously if you read harry potter they have battles like this when it's like really bad wizards going up against good Wizards or just people or innocent people, they use that curse to kill people. It's like how kill the people in real life, they use weapons and all this other stuff to kill people. Like these people, whatever, man, I shouldn't even get into this, but it's like, oh my God, it's just, these people are so soft nowadays, man. It, dude, it's Harry Potter. Just enjoy it. I'm just so geek that you could just go to Hogwarts. That's like, that's so lit. What? I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about none of that. We get to go as a student to Hogwarts. It's like a dream that I had when I was a little kid. I would read the books and be like, yo, I want to go to this school. And then they have the movies. It really makes you want to go to this school. Like, man. I'm like watching this live. Yes. I'm actually shocked. I'm, I'm really sh pr pretends to be shocked. Bruh. Bruh. Harry Potter game shows off some straight up wizard. Bumbaka. Yes. The F. Dark Arts Battle Arena lets you pay an extra ten dollars to kill, uh, to try out kill curses early. Yes. Okay. Are they? <laughs> you know, what? Stupid. You yes. Ten dollars. Okay, Very. That's a little bit too out there. Like you pay, pay ten dollars and then you can actually use this killing curse in game that's wild that is uh, wild. myself i just love the, mm. these different types of opportunities in a role-playing game like this now furthermore it wasn't just this that was shown off we also got our first look at the room of requirement or a more in-depth look i should say this space will be fully customizable to the player from the objects yes. and the furniture to the architecture the ceilings and walls the room of requirement is the player's place to call their own at hogwarts it's also a great area to grow plants brew potions and upgrade or imbue yes. magical abilities into their gear i can't wait and they, as this article from MuggleNet also points out magical mm. beasts now are also featured in this area i believe you can collect yes array of magical creatures yes it's called i wish there was some kind of purpose for them though it's this just seems like you're just collecting them to collect them uh that's cool but i want them to have some kind of significant use do they grant me some kind of bonus ability can i use them as a mount in the you know out in the world like use as a sh 
I wouldn't say a shield, but you, you know, these different animals will have a magic ability or something that you use as a shield or as a weapon or a mount. Like, the, it's got to be some kind of other practical, practi- practicality or whatever. They have to, they have to have other abilities, man. They have to be useful somehow, some way. Well, the Vivarium, which is the part of the room of requirement section, I guess. And we have animals that are friendly, but require some TLC from the player. You need to feed, Damn. play with, and pet these animals. And it will let the players get ingredients from them that can be used in potion making. Okay, there it is. And crafting. So yeah, these are just a couple of different features and aspects. But I want more than that. I want more! ...of Hogwarts Legacy that Avalanche Software recently gave... Man, a- yes. the, the thing that I'm really hating right now is that I know I'm making videos mostly every single day, right? when this game comes out i'm gonna stream and that's probably the only time i'm gonna get to play and this is one of those games that i genuinely genuinely want to play like all yes like, honestly man. same no cap same no cap. i know you're like stop, stop the cap, the cap. No stop cap. the cap like, bro badass looking forward to this game the only thing i'm sad about right now is man like i'm not gonna get time to play this game outside yes. of the initial live stream if i'm able to live stream and the same day we're also getting like a take two live stream investor call maybe we're gonna get some gta 6 uh... then as well, february 6th and you can you if you get the digital deluxe you can get three days three days early so that's what i'm planning to get right now to be able to stream a more in-depth look at and has excited a lot within this community. Interesting. But unfortunately, this excitement has not been universal, as especially on Twitter and various social media sites and various gaming sites, we've seen yes. various hit pieces emerge recently. Oh, February 10th. Calling out oh my God. It's dangerous to support it. And yes, many of this is linked. February 10th. Oh my God. Let's go. Again, to JK dangerous. Rowling, the Harry Potter author and her views. Just around two months ago, I made this prediction that this is exactly. Shout out to JK Rowling what was going to happen as we got closer to launch the outrage campaigns were going to get a whole lot louder and i'm very certain that in the next couple weeks we're going to see mainstream outlets the cnn's fox news is new york yes. post new york times we're going to see articles coming right after this game assuming that this game is actually that if this game is good bro it's gonna 10x the sales all this negativity, all this negativity and controversial marketing is really gonna help the game out yeah if this game let's just say okay hypothetically okay yeah do, do not cancel me don't be like Bruh. nope Let's say hypothetically this game is really bad. It's like yes. a piece of Shiza, it's like two FPS, three FPS, yes. full of bug bugs. Let's hope not. I hope this is not 2077. I hope this is not Cyberpunk 2077. Even then, the amount of controversial marketing that's happening right now, the amount of people that are actually people are mad, people are angry, the amount of people that are actually going against it. Even if the game is bad, it's so, still wow. gonna sell well because yes. it's Harry Potter. Yes. Secondly, all the backlash, right? But if this game is a banger, if this yes. game comes out as advertised, if this game comes out fully polished, this is gonna be a banger, dog. This is gonna sell 10 plus million easy. And I think 10 plus million copies is like on the low low. It can do even more because I'm Harry Potter. Harry, Harry Potter amazing. is a massive franchise. I do not know the numbers, how big, it is how many people have seen the movies that's what i mean by fan base right but the harry potter fan base is massive this game is easily gonna do 10 plus million even more and if this game is good i mean you're you're like asking for 10 plus million 20 plus million like that uh, it's gonna do numbers like that easily good you're not going to see articles saying hogwarts legacy huge success celebrated by much of the harry potter community instead it's gonna be more so controversial harry potter game celebrate success despite divisive opinion even though that negative angle will very likely only be coming from gaming outlets and critics this looks and i suppose so i should acknowledge the twitter mobs which inevitably always get a lot I didn't of attention see this game, but yeah. right now if you are not aware of all the controversy surrounding hogwarts legacy it boils down to just a couple of things it's jk rowling's view i mean if you live on twitter are you always are you ever positive i Bruh. should say if you live on twitter then i mean <laughs> and it's also the goblin antagonist angle of hogwarts legacy yes. as the mary sue points out in addition to supporting rawling whose anti-trans comments have alienated a vast portion of our once devoted fan base hogwarts legacy has also been accused of perpetuating anti-semitic tropes and its depiction of goblins an issue baked Bruh. in the books as well and again i will point out with rawling's Bruh. views hogwarts legacy's team to avalanche studio they have already shown like the character creation is one great example they fought for trans character creation that is something that's included in the game warner brothers has distanced themselves from rawling so her involvement creatively wow. here is it's not existent which is why it's crazy the narratives that some people are spreading about this but with the goblins the game does take place in the 1800s so one of the challenges that players will face is a so-called goblin rebellion of which there are several mentioned throughout the harry potter series and the mary sue firmly states framing an oppressed species as evil for wanting to freely use their own magic and not be oppressed anymore is honestly gross and the issue with that is the fact that that is an assumption about how hogwarts legacy is going to handle any of this anybody logically could think that that's not exactly how it's going to go down and as one redditor pointed out perfectly how the game is an rpg which seems to give you plenty of options such as literally letting you use the killing curse this might end up being one of those games where the villain actually has a point and lets you side with them and that's exactly what i think will happen with hogwarts legacy 
fantasy. It may early on in some of these trailers, it makes these... I truly don't understand the bumblecloud that's going around with the goblins and stuff like that, bro. Like, I never looked at the <laughs> goblins like the way they are looking at the goblins, bro. Goblins. Dude, they are 100% looking at goblins. Totally different. Uh, yeah. So, that being the case, I mean, look, man, I'm pretty excited for the game i'm really excited for the game um lots of things that we're gonna do we're gonna do some magic we're gonna hang out with some monsters we're gonna hang out in school i think it's only a single player game unfortunately so you can't like it's not like a live service where you just get where you just go to school to hogwarts with a bunch of your you know friends or just people online which would be amazing by the way be amazing learn different spells and everything the spell things it, it looks like you can definitely go to class and learn different spells and do magic and explore the harry potter universe from hogwarts and outside of hogwarts and go to the dark forest and everything yeah god i can't wait for it it's gonna be sick um really just want the combat to be cool i want the lore to like go in depth i want the graphics to look all right which it looks okay it looks pretty good from here I mean, uh, it looks pretty legit, you know, it looks pretty good. I can't wait for it. We're going to do a live stream for it. I can't really say anything else more besides I can't wait for the game. I don't care about the controversy behind it because if she has nothing to do with the game, why is there an issue with you wanting to buy the game? She has nothing to do with the game. If the content, if she still makes great content, but she has nothing to do with the game and someone else is making the game, then I'm going to probably not buy the game, right? You have such a big issue with it, but I have no issue with none of it. We're going in. Goblins are goblins because they're goblins and they're small folks, and they've been known to have pointy noses and little, little sharp ears, right? Well, um, besides the other stuff, man, I ain't got time for none of that, man. I just want to play the video game, dude. You keep all that mess out of the video game. Be yeah, all right, man. We're going to play the video game. We're going to do magic. We're going to hang out at Hogwarts. And we're going to live stream it. That's all I got to say about that. Make sure you're there. Hit me up, Twitch, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, at Kicking It With Timmy B. And hit me up on Facebook and Twitter at AIWTB Gaming. This is Skizzle Wakes. Hit him up. In the, hit him up on YouTube. Hit the like, share for him. Legacy. Killa HD is the guy who we're actually going to watch his, we we're literally going to watch his video. But uh, the homie Skiz Awakes, he's on it. I'm your boy KIWTV, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Pop, 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 peace.